Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, my name is Plami and in this episode of Ready K we're gonna be checking out something a little bit different to my usual uh, K-pop reactions because it's not even gonna be actually K-pop, it's actually gonna be K-Rock. Um, I stumbled upon this which I believe it's a recent release because it was recommended to me and somebody asked me to react to it as well, like I'm gonna put their uh, comment on the screen if I can find it in my comment section and they asked me to check out uh, Blaze by Rolling Quartz who are a K-Rock girl band which I know is a thing like I know that there's other genres of like popular music like K-Rock, K-Hip-Hop and stuff but I haven't really looked into those kind of stuff uh, other than maybe just I don't know uh, stumbling upon a video or somebody mentioning it. I haven't really looked into this kind of stuff uh, mainly because K-pop has been serviceable for me and because uh, with this kind of stuff once I get into it it's just gonna open another pit of another rabbit hole that I'm never gonna get out of. It's like one of the reasons why I haven't gotten into uh, J-pop because it's also not only hard, and I cannot really express my love for J-pop because I'm pretty sure that all the Japanese uh, J-pop reactions, if I decide to do those, are gonna get blocked and claimed by Japanese companies who are notorious uh, copyright Nazis. I'm gonna not gonna even have enough space on my phone for all the music that I listen to to listen to. So yeah, I'm still pretty excited to check this out because it's rock. I'm a huge rock fan. Uh, although I don't really listen to it as much as I do for K-pop, just because K-pop is like my main focus. I just don't have time, uh, if I gotta be honest. But I'm really excited because I love rock. This is K-rock, so let's get into it and see what they're gonna be uh, showing me because I'm really, really excited about this. So let's get into it in three, two, one. I really like the looks, especially the drummer. Okay, rock. Seeing rock in Korean definitely sounds different from K pop. Okay, this makes me feel like how I felt when I first got into K-pop. It's the exact same feeling. I just love the way the singing sounds. Like, the singing in Korean sounds so cool. And this sounds different from K-pop, but it gives me the exact same feeling. Honestly, the singing sounds like a weird mix between Japanese and Korean. And I think the reason why it feels like that is because a lot of Japanese music tends to be rock based and having K uh, Korean being uh, sung in a rock song is definitely gonna lean towards that as well. I feel like it maybe could have been, uh, I don't know what's the word for it, mixed a little better because 
the vocals and the instrumental, I feel like, don't mesh uh, as well as they could be. I still like it, and I still think it's really good, but the vocals could mesh a little better. Or maybe they're meant to sound like that, I don't know. I really love the crazy hair colors. I mean, even if this was just an instrumental, I would love it. What is so cool about female drummers? I don't know, but I, I love her. I'm in love. Okay, we're almost definitely reacting to this one a second time just because it's so different for me uh, from usual K-pop stuff, you know? Um, if I had to use one word to describe this, I would say the word would be promising. Uh, and what exactly I mean by that is that I like this a lot. Um, but I feel like I could like it so much more as well. Um, and there's a little bit of, of me that is a little wary getting into this because I haven't really listened to it before and I don't know really what to expect and how good it is. I have no point of comparison. So for me, getting into this, if uh, this is in any way a significator or a sign of what... Uh, the rest of K-Rock is like, then then it means that there might be a lot of good music that I'm not really paying attention to at all. Because for the singing, I think there is room for improvement. Like, it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. Like, I don't really have any criticisms and um, don't really take this as a hate towards the group or anything, but I think... Uh, the singing could be a little better, but the instrumental is perfect. I love the instrumental. I love everything about the instrumental. I love the frog sound, obviously, but like the instrumental is without faults. The singing could be better. But if this song is any way assigned to what the rest of uh, K-Rock has, then I definitely should check out more of it because I really like this. And I feel like there's almost definitely even better song than this one. But yeah, uh, let's get into it one more time uh, in 3, 2, 1. Also, who am I to criticize singing? I can't sing for shit. I'm just kind of like poking at stuff and saying how I feel about them. And I feel the singing... I mean, it's mainly because I feel like the instrumental and the singing don't jive together, not that the singer is bad or anything. So I think it's more a fault of the production, not necessarily the singing. Because there are part of the songs that her singing is really good. And I just love the way it sounds, so... It's not like I'm hating on the current for her singing, you know? So please don't dislike this video. Because yeah, she's really good. I think it's just a part, some parts of the song it just doesn't really work together. I actually really like how how her voice sounds in this song.
I wish more of these kind of sound uh, became a little more mainstream in Korea. Because I feel like for some reason Korea is intentionally disregarding anybody with non-traditional K-pop sound. Like for example Dreamcatcher, which is the closest we have to like K-rock in K-pop. And like even recently, uh, you know, I'm not gonna talk about this in this video. This is video about them. But yeah, I definitely have an urge to check out more K-Rock, that's for sure. I'll definitely be listening to a uh, instrumental version of this song as well because I, I, th I think I really really like this instrumental I mean it's a rock song of course I'm gonna like it like even in the last video I think I said how much I love guitars and rock sound so I love this Okay, so whoever it was who asked me to react to this, thank you, even though I was still gonna do it even if you didn't ask me because I was recommended this uh, music video on YouTube and I, because I'm a huge fan of rock, um, I got interested into checking it out, but yeah, I, it is a really good, um, it's basically K-pop rock. Is the best way to put it in my opinion uh, it's basically what I would want k-pop uh, to sound like if they included more rock into it you know but yeah I really like it and I, th I think it... so yeah um, whoever it was who asked me to react to this uh, thank you for doing so even though I was still gonna do it even if you didn't ask me because I got recommended this music video and because it's a K rock and I like rock a lot I was already interested into checking it out and I was going to check it out but anyway thank you but yeah um, I do like this as much as I was uh, expecting it to be uh, but it is a, such a different feeling to how I feel for the average K-pop song because right now I'm kind of because because I don't really have any perspective on K-Rock I'm judging this as the generic K-Rock song you know this is what K-Rock sounds like so that's how kind of how I'm seeing this song um, and as I said I like this song a lot and it feels promising, but I feel like there's also probably so much better than even this. So I'm actually really excited to check out more K-Rock songs, which is something that I'm almost definitely gonna do. So I might even do a separate playlist for K-Rock, uh, depending on how many of them I do, but yeah, we'll see about that. Because this might become a big thing about uh, my music taste and it might shift. Uh, my music into K-Rock from K-Pop, but I don't know. But for the song itself, yeah, I like it. Uh, I don't really have much to say that it's not gonna be just a regur regurgitation to what I've already said. But yeah, this definitely appeals to my tastes. I love the instrumental for sure. The singing also sounds surprisingly good, but I feel like it's just the singing and the instrumental together don't mesh as well as they could it's still really good and i'm gonna give it an 8.9 out of 10 but it definitely could be better i think it definitely could be better but yeah 
uh, that was really fun. You can definitely expect at least one more K-Rock uh, reaction because I will look through uh, K-Rock. And I think I might have actually reacted to K-Rock before. Because I think I remember doing something like that, but it was such a long time ago and it was probably sometime either late 2019, maybe early 2020, but I think I might have done something like that or at least planned on doing so, but yeah, you can expect at least one more uh, so I can kind of get uh, myself a little bit more uh, perspective on K-Rog, but so far I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. So, if you have any recommendations for what I should check out, comment them down below, and I might do so. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe. Also, check out the link in the description to my Twitter, if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad, where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you end up enjoying my stories, or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon, where you can pledge support and help with the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways, like liking this video, subscribing, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully we're going to see you in the next one. Bye!